It's a non-conforming die, has a design into it, just as you see here. Designs cut directly into, in this case, a piece of brass. It can be cut into plexiglass, it can be cut into acrylic, or um, wood for that matter. Uh, just about anything that you can um, carve, uh, either with your Fordham flex shaft or with a Dremel tool, um, with CAD CAM, and in this case with an 1880s Rose engine, antique Rose engine. To get the fine detail out of a die like this, we need to have complete containment of all the urethane. If we can completely contain the urethane, we can get 100% of the urethane force to act upon the metal that we're pushing down into this die, and that will yield the very highest details. Here we have shown the precision die forming kit. This is a container, a high pressure container, and a very accurately machined and hardened punch that fit together so carefully there's actually an air uh, bond between them. Um, you can feel the vacuum as you pull the punch out of the container. This contains the urethane uh, in such a way, again, to give 100% of the force of the urethane to the metal. I'm going to go ahead and stack this into the precision die forming container. So let's first put this on there, nice and centered. I'll drop that down to the bottom. Next I'll take a piece of urethane and put it on top of that. And then the punch simply goes on top of that. Go ahead and load this up into the press. Again, making sure everything is centered. Once we are happy with our centering, we'll pump it up. And here we'll actually go to a full 10,000 pounds per square inch on the gauge. Full 20 tons of pressure. There's 20 tons. I'll take it out and inspect and see what we've done. And there's our plate of silver. And you can see how fine a detail that's brought out.